this time, we ask that you please stand and remove color for the playing of our national anthem. Hello, everybody, and welcome to tonight's Section 5 wrestling match between Hornell and Wellsville. I'm Bob Blasher, broadcasting from the Maple City Dodge broadcast booth. So we'll see uh, how we're going to start things out. Captain's meeting on the mat. Out here tonight at Hornell High School. So the 145 weight class, Marcus Tingley for Hornell. Oh, 152. Okay, starting at 152. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Beckwith for Wellsville. Cornell in the, with the white stripe. Wellsville in the orange outlines. Chad Allen for Hornell in the white stripe. Bryce Beckwith. Seconds left here in the first. Still no score. 40 seconds left here in the first. Chad Allen. For a Horn Allen. Bryce Beckwith. seconds left here. Maybe saved by the bell. So three points for Beckwith. Beckwith from Wellsville and Chad Allen Hornell, second.
left here in the second. Chet Robbins at 170, wins by forfeit.
So Hunter Brandis and Andrew Deeps. Deebs with the white stripe. And Hunter Brandis with the orange around the legs. Wells will leading 12 to 6 here on the John and Dagan scoreboard. Make sure you give us a like and also give us a share. Let other people know you're watching the wrestling match today on Pice Sports and that's Deebs shoots in there for a leg and both are outside into the danger zone under a minute left here in the first Andrew Deebs and Hunter Brandis. Brandis from Wellsville in the orange. Ornell, Andrew Deebs with the white stripe. Still no score here. Fifteen seconds now. There's a shoot by Debs. Tries to get a leg. I like how he waited just in case it didn't work and takes us to the second. It's Andrew Deebs from Hornell on the white stripe. And Hunter Brandis with the orange from Wellsville. And there's a takedown. No point scored yet for this individual match. Here we're in the second with about a minute and 10 seconds left in the second. Second, still no. Well, it's one nothing now. Now it's two nothing in favor of Hunter Brandes from Wellsville. Eight 
seconds. the end of the second. So now it's four to one for the individual match here going to the third and final. seconds left here in the match. 12 to six on the John A. Dagan scoreboard. Wellsville leads in this meet over Hornell. I have an injury. coach for Hornet. Today's game brought to you by the Ryan Agency's offices in Hornell, Wellsville, and Jasper. Call 324-7500. Stop into their office today. Insurance protection, you can rely on the Ryan Agency's. Get your cans and bottles in the Main Street Redemption Center. Open seven days a week, 9 to 6, Monday through Friday, 9 to 3, Saturday and Sunday. Main Street Redemption Center. John N. Dagan, attorney at law, general and trial practice, proudly serving the Southern Tier for 29 years. No, more than that. Yeah, 29 years, that sounds good. <laughs> Call 324-6690, you're stopping at 29 Church Street in Hornell. It's the winter blowout sale going on at Maple City Dodge in the Airport Road in North Hornell. Great sales, great service on all Dodge Chrysler Jeeps as well as used vehicles you'll find on the lot up at Maple City Dodge. Mike Palmer Air Conditioning and Heating, Coal Services. Oh, 698-4444. Stop in up at State Route 36 in Canisteel. Okay, 58 seconds left here. Between Andrew Deebs and Hunter Brandis. Brandis had an injury timeout there, but seems to be all right. So we're going to get back to action. Four to one in favor of Brandis. Deebs is down. Brandis on top. One point for Deebs for the escape. Four to two now with 36 seconds left. Brandis just has to be careful here. And they're outside with 28 seconds left. has to do anything he can here to try to get at least three more points to overtake Brandis. Brandis has kind of set himself up so he can't be taken down very easily and that's a 
tie up. Brett Deeds does get another point. Four to three now with 10 seconds left. Just a takedown will tie it. Oh, two seconds. And that's gonna do it. And Brandis is gonna hold on. Twisted his ankle, hope he's all right. Makes the score 15 to six in favor of Wellsville. Wine Chiropractic, Dr. John Wine, Dr. Joseph McKay want you to feel good this holiday season by stopping in. And, and, sorry to visit Wine Chiropractic. I was watching what was going on here. Wine Chiropractic, 20 Park Drive in Hornell, 324 7246. Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys, offices in Buffalo and Rochester, proud supporters of the Bills, the Sabres, and your Hornell Red Raiders. Call 585 262 COMP today. So it's 15 to 6. Egan Inky, 192 pound, 195 pound they have, yeah. Tyler Smith for Wellsville. Alex Lockwood for Hornell at the 220 pound. Here we go. So Lockwood in the white stripe. Smith with the orange stripe around the legs. score here. Smith, Tyler Smith from Wellsville. Four to two now. Lockwood with the white stripe on, takes the down position. seconds left here in the first. Another point, four to three now in favor of 
Smith from Wallsville. Tyler Smith takes down Andrew, or I'm sorry, uh, Alex Lockwood on top. Roseville leading 21 to six and Lockwood. Five left here in the second. Smith with a five to three lead for Wellsville. Wellsville up in the match, 21 to six on the John and Dagan scoreboard. Trying to get, Smith trying to get Lockwood on his back, but. Forty seconds left here. Seconds. Seven to four. Five seconds left here in this match. Seven to five in favor of Tyler Smith. Alex Lockwood for Hornell on the white stripe. Smith with 18 seconds left, unless you can pin him here, it's going to be Wellsville's Smith with the win. Down to 
two seconds. Okay. Tyler Smith, the winner. For all your insurance needs. You've got a great driving record. Every insurance company wants you. Recognize how valuable you are. Go to the Ryan Agency for the right insurance, price, coverage, and service. Insurance protection you can rely on. The Ryan Agency. If you get hurt at work, you want to be able to turn to a professional you can trust. Someone on your side, with the experience to tell you exactly how things will go. Helping you get your life back together. If you get hurt at work, call 262-COMP today and get the results you deserve. Connors and Ferris, your workers come attorneys. Hornell Gardens are Hurlbut Care Community, located at 434 Monroe Avenue in Hornell, across from St. James Hospital. Long-term care facility, short-term rehab. Stop in and take a tour of Hornell Gardens today. First Heritage Federal Credit Union opened up their newest branch in the corners of Mays and Seneca Street in Hornell. More than just checking and saving, stop into First Heritage and check out all the financial services they can offer you. AirtightofNewYork.com, spray foam insulation. Call 368-2842, commercial, residential, new and old construction. Airtight of New York. So Dallin Grenthal for Hornell with the white stripe. And for Wellsville, Micaiah Doro. Renthal waited at 202, I believe. Yep. And 286 for Doro. So a big age, or age, a big uh, weight difference here between the two. But Renthal's up to the challenge here. Still 0-0 zero, zero in this first. Five seconds here in the first, still 0-0. Zero, zero. Individual yet. 24 to 6. Wellsville's on top. Kid Nakaya 
Doro for Wellsville with the orange around his legs. Hornell in the white. Dylan Grenthal. 60 pound difference in the two between the two. Doro with a one point. Poulos and Roselle attorneys at law. Tim Roselle, Bill Poulos, call 324-7333 or stop in their offices at the Crossroads Professional Building on Main Street in Hornell. Poulos and Roselle. Elderwood at Hornell, stop in at 1 Bethesda Drive. Orthopedic, oops, we're going to stop you there and get you back in here. I'd like to thank Elderwood. Across from Wegmans Walmart Plaza right next to Lowe's there. Call 324-6990 for a tour. Again, this is Dylan Grinthal with the white stripe from Hornell. And Nakaya. Oh! oh. Flip him over. Oh, oh Jack close. Oh. I think if you had about 10 more seconds left on that clock, he would have pinned him. Grenfell would have pinned Doro. Takes us to the third, two to one. Grenthal on top. Three to one now. We're in the third here with a minute and a half left. Again, Grenthal only at 215. Or 202, I'm sorry, weighed in. And Doro from Wellsville at 282. Or 286. So a big weight difference here. But right now, with a minute left, 3 to 1 with Cornell's Grenthal on top. Just trying to ride it out here, it looks like. Seconds left. Still three to one here. Fader of favor of Hornell's Grenthal. 
Who's in the white stripe. Sixteen seconds left. Darrell just trying to do anything he can to get those two points. He looks a little winded. Hopefully. There it is. wins. So 24-9 now. Okay, I'm looking to see if any injuries here. Took a couple shots to the face. Kurtz. A little wiry, these guys here. <laughs> Hunter Kurtz with the orange, Drew with the white stripe on the ground, or on the mat, I should say. Getting close to being out. Kurtz over Drew. here in the first. Just as headgear. Eleven seconds left here. Hunter Kurtz leads seven to one over Braden True. Kurtz from Wellsville. Go to the 
second. It's 10 nothing, or 10 to 1. We don't get that score on the screen, unfortunately. 24-9 is the team score. seconds left here. Braden Drew on the down and Hunter Kurtz up. So 14 to 1 is the score. Jillio's Plumbing, Heating and Cooling, call 382-0836. Not too late to have your heating system checked out. Jillio's Plumbing and Heating can do that. Call 382. And there's the Ryan Agencies. Thank you for your support as always. Gregor.
Main Street Redemption Center, 286 Main Street. Get your cans and bottles into Main Street Redemption Center today. Eli Torello. Good job, Eli. Oh, I didn't get you a close up, Eli. As he runs over there. And Dale Eblinger. Spin him. Wow. Gets himself out of there. Fifty five seconds left here in the first. Change of uh, fortunes here. Ooh. 24 seconds left in the first. by the bell. Oh no, he pins him. Wow, just a second, not even a second left on the clock. Uh. So good job, Owen. Wow, just as the buzzer rang. Uh. In life, some surprises are good, and some surprises aren't. You'll be pleasantly surprised by how much cash you could earn with our Kasasa Cashback Checking Account. 
With Kasasa Cashback, you could earn 2% cash back on your debit purchases just for using the account. Plus, your ATM fees may be refunded. There's no monthly fee, no minimum balance, and no unpleasant surprises. Call First Heritage or visit us at fhfcu.org to open your Kasasa Cashback checking account today. Some restrictions apply. Stop down today and see why people drive for miles to come do business with us here in Maple City Dodge. We were looking all over for a Jeep and couldn't find what we wanted. We stopped at Maple City Dodge, found exactly what we were looking for at the price that we wanted. Come on in to Maple City Dodge, where we'll find you the right car at the right price. And I'll guarantee that. So 132 for Wellsville. Patrick Robards for Hornell in the white. And Derek Salazzo, S A L L A Z Z O. Salazzo. Salazzo in the orange stripes and Hornell in the white stripe. Was the leads 36 27. Seen some good matches here in the lower weight classes. Well, he should have pounced on him. There we go. Wow, what a move. Trying to get him down. Oh, and he let him spin out. Down again. Fifteen seconds. Oh. There he goes. He's got to hold that. I'm surprised he doesn't try spinning the other way. Oh, saved by the buzzer. Patrick Robards in the white stripe. Salazo in the orange for Wellsville. Robards is up seven to one. Oh, we're in the second of three.
48 seconds left here in the second. Nine to six. In favor of Robards from Hornell. Salazo's got him on his back. Twenty-one seconds left here in the second. Oh! <laughs> that was a great move. Look at this. Oh! End of the. Uh. third now. 14 to 9. Hornell. My score doesn't go up that high either. There are some, some issues with that. I apologize. So 14 to 9 individual in favor of Hornell's Robards. Derek Salazo from Wellsville. A great match between these two. Take down. He's got him. Headgear all screwed up, but great job, Patrick Robards for Hornell with the pin. John Dagan, general in trial practice. Call 324-6690. Thanks, John. Maple City Dodge, get up and check out the winter blowout savings with sales on Dodge Chrysler Jeeps during their winter blowout sale at Maple City Dodge. And Mike Palmer, plumbing, heating, air conditioning, coal services. Call 698-4444. And Wyan Cow Practic, get well and stay well with a visit to Wyan Cow Practic. 20 Park Drive in Hornell. Call 324-7246. Damian Maltrop, I think that's how they said his name. Brendan Demiersman for Hornell. Demiersman weighed at 138. Coming into the match. Mole trip was 138 as well, so. Wellsville up 36-33. Demiersman. Mearsman with a white stripe. I apologize if we're having some streaming issues. If you're watching, not sure why that is, but. I'm having tr trouble watching it back here, but maybe you're not at home. Demiersman trying to hold him down with 17 seconds left, trying to get that one leg back up. Did he do it? Has he done it? Six seconds. Oh no. One second and he pinned him. 
another match with under a second left. Uh, uh, I think he did it. Let's see what they're deciding. Oh, we can't do instant replay, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, no, it is. They did do it. Okay. Yeah, I can say he I thought he pinned him just before. It was like under a second. So Hornell takes the lead now. As there's been two extreme. If you're just joining us, under a second decisions. for Hornell, Pratt for Blake Pratt for Wellsville. House tries to shoot in there. Don't forget if you're watching, give us a like. Give us a share as well. Let other people know you're watching this wrestling match between Wellsville and Hornell on Pike Sports Facebook Live. Let's go, play! Hornell up. Thirty-nine, thirty-six. House shoots in there. Gains two points. And Owen House with the white. Blake Pratt in the orange. Still 2 nothing in favor of House. Trying to get him over. It's getting close. And he pinned him. Owen House. So that's the final. Owen House wins 45 to 36. To thank all those watching on Pice Sports Facebook Live. after we sign off you can watch a replay of this if you've missed one of your relatives or friends child's match you can re-watch it on the Facebook on demand on a Pice Sports page don't forget our next broadcast will be Friday boys basketball at Wellsville
So tune in to Pike Sports that day. We'll go on the air with JV action as well as varsity action. So thanks for joining us. Very nice. 